Who think it's good? So I'm watching this film documentary um, about two Japanese artists. They're a couple and they live in New York City. And the documentary is called Cutie and the Boxer. And obviously uh, this guy, um, Yuhiro is the boxer. Yushiro, sorry, I think his name is. Um, really interesting documentary. Great story um, about two artists, both of their work is very different um, and um, interesting, they've been married 40 years so well worth the, uh, the look. So what I'm doing today is I'm, see I've started to, well I've started to customise this piece of furniture with my own art, um, still got to finish it yet, uh, I've got to resin those two drawers there and this side uh, leg here, I'm going to paint uh, high, in a high gloss black paint and then put some um, sort of um, very simple image over it. Hard to explain, but you'll see it. Um, and I've just bought this piece of furniture here, which is like a little desk which comes out. And like it's a very small one. I've already put, if you can see, um, see I've put my texture on it already and the plan is that 
it'll probably look up like something like that by the time I've finished it and put uh, a coating of resin over it so um, that'll be nice and I'm also going to do it to this the next cupboard along here that door there I'm going to put I haven't decided if I'm going to do a graffiti style or if I'm going to do a textured style um, I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with the texture to uh, to balance it out um, which I think will be nice I've also been working on this piece here that I've been adding um, some string art to uh, it takes me back to my childhood because when I was in primary school I remember making a string art uh, train I think it was and so I decided I wanted to start and include some string art in this uh, in this series so that's the um, the plan with that although I'm not sure if I might get a thinner string or maybe get some metal um, wire and use and, and you can get it in different colors too so I'm thinking I might do that instead but uh, it's just to get the idea down so I finally got my shit together and um, <laughs> I have some artwork in a group show over in Port Melbourne um, sorry not Port Melbourne I always say Port Melbourne Newport uh, so you're if, in, if you're in Melbourne at the moment, uh, the group show is at the substation gallery. It's called Ticking All the Boxes Beyond the Black. And it's actually with six other contemporary indigenous artists. There's some quite high profile names in this show, which is amazing um, that um, I was asked to be a part of uh, this group. So... Um, I have five paintings in the show plus one video installation piece which was uh, which was quite new to me um, and um, overall I think it's a great show with everyone's work is quite unique and quite different which I guess makes for an interesting uh, show I've also been asked by a gallery in Paran um, to uh, consign some of my works there so I'm in the process of putting together a whole bunch of little works that uh, will be selling through that gallery uh, hopefully fairly soon and what else have I been up to well um, I bought this really cool art book it's called vitamin p2 and it says on the cover on this little thing here the most exciting contemporary painters nominated by the world's most influential critics and curators. Which is always a bit wanky, but <laughs> anyway, I don't normally buy art books unless I'm really attracted to, um, to the works. And I have to say, when I looked through this book, I was quite inspired by uh, quite a lot of the artists that, um, that appear in the book. And um, I'll show you one that one type of style that I'm really into at the moment and I really liked and it was it's these black and white works and also these ones I don't know if you can see them but the canvas is the, the actual canvas has been extended in areas um, but really beautiful stuff I wonder if it goes over the page um, no it doesn't that artist is, I'll tell you who that artist is, right here, Raphael Bujnowski, something like that. Uh, but yeah, great works. And uh, I thought that was quite nice and contemporary and modern too, that slight like all string. Yeah, and that artist is uh, Diana Molzen. But anyway, great book. Some really, really cool stuff in it. I've been getting heaps, been, heaps of inspiration. Um, and um, I also bought these plates, which I love. They're, they're malamine. I think it's the type of plastic. And um, I really love the designs. 
like that one. And the patterns are beautiful. That's that. And then back to that one here. So this is the final piece. This is the largest piece. Um, half of the, the top half is really shiny black and I've used a high gloss enamel um, paint to get that really beautiful shine and then contrasted with uh, spray painted layers and uh, acrylic layers and, and there's some texture obviously and then there's this nice piece of red string that runs um, through the center to sort of split it and all of the works in the show have this red string uh, somewhere in the work which um, is a representation of strength, power, vitality, uh, those sort of things. So I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, taking, oh, I thought I was taking a bit of a big risk when I um, added the black but all of the works have strong elements of design and strong elements of black in them. So for me it was a no-brainer really and uh, I, I really like it. It's very contemporary, uh, modern and, and it has a nice slick feel which is exactly uh, what I wanted to um, to portray. And on that note, Ubers, I'll be talking to you real soon. Later.